Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy with LiveX and today I am excited to unbox some stuff for you. I think it's a brand new uh, format that we came up with uh, here at LiveX, unboxings. And I'm excited to show you our new and somewhat temporary uh, set here. It, we are in one of our Remy's in Green Bay and I'm excited to show you an item that we are going to hopefully be integrating in to some of these uh, studios that we have here. We have this Studio Technologies Com panel. And this is a model 374A intercom belt pack. Um, if you have a Dante-based comms uh, system, then this is going to work well with that. If not, Studio Technology sells base stations, and all you do is you have these belt packs, you also have desktop uh, uh, models that you can integrate with that comm system, and it gives you a really lightweight, uh, flexible comm system for you to use for your productions. So I'm excited to uh, crack this thing open. So let's do that. I have my scissors ready here, and I always hate using scissors like this. It always feels sketchy, but I always tell myself, I haven't cut myself yet. I'm probably not going to now. Should be good enough, and slice this open here. I love the minimalist box for this, you know, that you're just, you're paying for the product, not for an Apple unboxing experience. So I'm popping this open, and this is the box it shipped in. Let's see, you get that overhead shot there, there we go. Some bubble wrap, looks like this was packed by hand with great care by the Studio Technologies team, just throw that back there for now. And here it is, here's the actual belt pack. and. First impressions is this thing is super, super light and uh, was really well packaged. And as you can see, that's it. That's all there is to it. This is all you get in this box and that's all you need. And I'm gonna tell you why now. So on the front, we get these buttons in here. I'll uh, station that there. So we get these buttons and these are nice clicky buttons. They have a good response to them. They're not too not too loud, not too stiff, gonna be really nice there, as well as these pots, these potentiometers that'll allow you to control the volume. And I really love that action there. Let's see if I can maybe get a little up close here, but pops up there, you can pop it back down and you get that for each channel on your comms. So that's a really, uh, really nice feature. You don't, you don't need to usually be dialing in your volume uh, too often. Usually once on a, you have a, a party line that's at a good level for you, you can leave it there. So adjust it once you're good, put it back in. Maybe someone uh, comes up a little louder than you expected, pop it open, put it back, and it's nice and safe. And that's important because this is a belt pack uh, form factor, so you don't wanna always be messing with the volume. You get these buttons here, and then here you have this belt clip. Feels really nicely built, and if you ever need to replace it, it's just these Allen keys that you can unscrew, so that's really useful. Then on the back, we get to kind of the other the other business end. I'll, I'll show it off over here, and this, um, this is really where the simplicity of this device comes in, because here we have a PoE port. I'm gonna flip that around. We have a PoE and ethernet port. And this is the port that you are going to attach to your Dante network. Uh, you will need a Dante network to use this, uh, you know, with a switch that's properly configured for proper Dante uh, operation. So we have a Dante and PoE ethernet port, and then we also have this five pin headset. Uh, so this'll work with your five pins. Uh, we have, you know, different sorts of headset configurations that different comm systems use. So just know that this is a five pin. And then we have a few uh, LEDs here and I'm gonna come up to this camera here to show that, but it's gonna be really hard to see. These are pretty small. We have a link, uh, a systems, a sync, compressor, and then a mic power LED. And what these are going to do is the uh, the link is going to let you know that you're connected to your network. The systems and the sync, that's gonna help you uh, debug if you're having any Dante issues. It'll let you know once you're connected and in sync with your Dante. For example, if you are not in sync with your Dante clock, this uh, sync LED here is going to light up red, uh, I believe, and uh, let you know that, hey, you have a problem and you can reset the device from there. In addition to what you see here, there is an accessory. It's a virtual accessory. You have the ST controller software, which allows you to configure this and 
other uh, sound, uh, sound technologies, uh, comm devices on your network. So, you know, a lot of these shows, a lot of the times you're going to have a, a bunch of these and your, your audio engineer or your comms tech, depending on the type of show you're running, is going to be able to do some remote control over this. And that is actually where this, this last thing that I didn't talk about yet, this remote control, and I might show it over on this, this camera too, just in case, but no, it's either way, it's really, really small. This is a 3.5 millimeter TRS jack that allows you to control remotely uh, with a, a different system, uh, the status of these party lines. So um, you have multiple ways to remote control this, to configure it, uh, whether you're a comms tech or you're an audio engineer, or if you're just a simple, uh, maybe you're just a technical producer, you can control this device uh, from the network, which is really handy for those shows. Maybe that you're putting this into a church and one of your volunteers accidentally left their PL open. Uh, they're talking. Uh, you can close that remotely. So that's something that you definitely want with these uh, digital comms systems. So like I said, this isn't the only thing you need in the package. You need a Dante network and you need a device that generates Dante party lines. So whether that is one of the studio technologies boxes that they sell or another Dante based comm system, this is going to work perfectly in that system. And that's really all there is to this box. It's simple, but configurable. It's simple to use, very configurable on the back end. I think a lot of producers, comm technicians, audio engineers are going to love the flexibility of this box as it integrates with your existing workflow or to start a brand new simple comms workflow, which I think that these sorts of boxes are a perfect way to get that going. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this or any one of the many other products that we have unboxed on this channel, as well as many more coming up, let us know in the comments down below and subscribe if you want to see those upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Talk to you all soon. See you around.